My name is Inés Garces de los Fallos Alonso. I am a postdoctoral research fellow at the Department of Pathology here at the Medical University of Vienna. We work in a lab that uses a variety of in vitro uh, techniques and in vivo transgenic models to better understand complex human diseases such as prostate cancer and lymphoma. I particularly work on a aggressive non-Hodgkin T-cell lymphoma, which is a cancer that arises in immune cells, specifically the T-cells. In this research paper, we identify a receptor called platelet-derived growth factor receptor beta, or PDGFRB, that sits in the membrane of cells and acts like an antenna. This antenna detects signals on the outside and relays them onto the inside of the cell, boosting the aggressiveness of the disease. What we have identified in this paper is that if you inhibit the antenna or its downstream molecules, that you dampen the aggressiveness of the disease overall. This disease normally affects children and uh, young adults. Uh, the majority of patients respond well to the standard chemotherapy. However, there is a subgroup of patients that tend to relapse or develop resistance to these treatments. What we have identified in the lab is that by targeting PDGF receptor beta, the clinicians have an alternative signaling pathway that they can inhibit, and hence the patients respond better to the treatment. The most special thing about the working environment has to be the colleagues. It is a very dynamic and international group of colleagues where everyone brings in a set of different expertise. So we're constantly challenging one another and learning. When I'm not in the lab, I enjoy meeting friends and discovering Vienna, which has been my home for the past six years. In the process of this uh, recent publication, I have uh, realized the importance of scientific communication. Despite having a strong passion for academic basic research, I have developed a strong interest in scientific communication. So the goal would be to be able to combine both of these in the future.